decided to invent an anti-snore t-shirt that prevents wearers from rolling on their backs. Hello, dragons. My name is Sean Kirkland. I'm the proud owner of a company called Anti-Snore Shirt. I'm here today asking you for an investment of $250,000 for 33% of my company. Have you ever been kicked, prodded, or punched while you've been sleeping in bed because your partner couldn't stand your obnoxious snoring? Is that your partner beside you? This is my lovely assistant, Trish. <laughs> but not your partner. Not sister. Not sister. Not your sister. Oh, don't go there. First night sharing a bed with my partner, we realized that my snoring was an issue. And that's what really... That can ruin a relationship, you know. Or two or three. Absolutely, absolutely. I've taken an old concept that doctors have been recommending for years of sewing a tennis ball into the back of a t-shirt and modified it. I'd love to show you what I've done to uh, recreate the tennis ball theory. So you see we have a ladies version and a men's version. <laughs> it's, it's a simple cotton t-shirt wow. that has bumpers on the back of it. Yeah, that's attractive. <laughs> It's an interesting looking concept. Where he defines love handles. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the two models into the bed and I'll show you how it actually works. That's sort of the princess and the pea story is where we're headed here, aren't we? Oh, that looks nasty. Really nasty. Three cans of soup on the back. <laughs> so when you're sleeping on your side, you'll see that all three bumpers are completely loose. Trish should not feel any resistance at all from these bumpers. Snoring is worsened when sleepers roll onto their backs. The anti-snore shirt's built-in bumpers gently prevent sleepers from landing in that position. How many of these have you sold already, Sean? I've sold over a thousand shirts. I mean, reading your murky material, mm -hmm. as seen on TV. This product has been all over the television. And you've only sold a thousand units? At the time, my website was very rudimentary. It wasn't labeled properly, it was labeled as Remedy. I have to beat you with a stick, Nick. Your valuation is crazy. $750,000 and I'm making any money? I'm not gonna butter you up with numbers. I've had doctors from basically every major sleep center across North America endorse this product, purchase this product for their own family members, and recommend this product to their patients. The money in this venture for you is to market this product to sleep centers across North America. Which you haven't done yet. I'm on a limited budget. And, and how many sleep centers are there? There are over 2,000 sleep centers in the United States alone. And do they retail product for their clients? Do they have stuff that they normally sell to people that come in there? Sleep centers do not typically retail. Unfortunately, marketing a product to clients who can't sell it isn't the kind of tactic that wins over dragons. Sean, I'll sum up my, my perspective on it. You weren't ready to go to market, you went to market. I think your go-to-market strategy now, approaching doctors and having them become the channel to your customer, is really flawed. I, I, as an investment, I'm out. You had a chance and you blew it. Do a website and be ready this time and make it simple. Stop snoring, bang, and get it out there and people will listen. Come up. When you go to small business, it'll be a great small business, but it's not something I would invest in, so I'm up. You got a good little business. Maybe you'll invent another product down the road. You've got a captive customer base, but it's not an investment. I'm out. I'm out because I, I hate your valuation. But I also don't know how to get my dough back. That's a real problem. So, thank you, but no thank you. Here's another problem. You're in bed, ding dong, the door bell rings. It's the hunchback of nothing. It's so attractive. It's, it's like you come downstairs with three soup cans tied to you. Like it's, it's a problem. <laughs>